But in society today, and especially amongst Christians, they're not prepared to listen and learn. What they do is they choose the bits that suit them, and they come out with the usual cruddy remark, oh, well, you know, I, I pick out the meat and leave the bones. I, I, I find it so ridiculous. What, what they mean by that is they pick and choose. They cherry pick what they want. And they don't actually want the whole gospel, they want just the bits that suit them. And the truth is, there's a lot that's not suitable. If you haven't got your heart right. And if you don't live right. And Christianity is about readjusting the whole life. It's not about believing a philosophy or believing a doctrine. It's about a lifestyle to be lived. And the hard thing is to get people to acknowledge when they're wrong. And then you start, and I thought, well, I can't understand why some people don't listen. And then I was thinking about it, and I'll explain to you why it is. If you turn with me to Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. Verse 4 says this, Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? Whose are the fathers and of whom are concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever, amen. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. Now listen, when Paul's writing, he said, look, the children of the flesh aren't the children of God. But the children of the promise accounted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honour and another unto dishonour? What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy? which he hath afore prepared unto glory, even us, 
whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he saith also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which were not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said of them, you are not my people, there, sh there shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of the Sabbath had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom and made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at the stumbling stone, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel, that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man that doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? Word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth into righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yea, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the end of the world. And he goes on, makes it quite plain. Look, there's vessels to honor, there's 